And we're back for level 4, Nightfall, one of my favorite levels of the game. Mostly because it's one of the sniper levels, and sniper levels have always been my favorite in the Halo game. So it's like the in Halo 3 when you first get to the art, and in Halo 1, the opening to Truth and Reconciliation. It's, it's kind of fun being able to get on decent perches and get some distance between you and the enemies in campaign and just kind of practice your sniper just a little bit. Not really too practical practical for playing online, but uh, nice practice anyway, I think. So we're going to let this cutscene play, and then we're going to jump back into it. Recon Team Bravo reporting in. Three and six in position. It's starting to get crowded up here, Cat. Then we're closing in. Report to any Covenant structures or devices. Direct action may be necessary. Copy that. When Cat runs an op, direct action is always necessary. Here, you may need these. High velocity, armor piercing. They'll take the hat off an elite at 2,000 yards. And they ain't cheap. I'll be in touch. All right, a little part that can be a bit difficult when playing on Heroic and above in uh, these games when you're on the sniper level is that a lot of the times most of the elites will uh, take two shots to kill, especially when you start getting to silver or higher. But uh, dang it, <laughs> that was something I wished I hadn't done. So. Hope, normally you'd be able to get through that section without alerting anybody until you get to that first hill, but since I did, I am just going to uh, try running ahead and uh, going through the buildings and just Vehicle keeping out of combat for the most of this level. I know at some point in the level there was a section where you could go and uh, get in a forklift and bypass a, a certain shit bypass a certain doorway that you need to trigger by uh, holding a position for a certain amount of time but I don't know if that's patched yet or not I'll give it a shot if it is worst case scenario we have to fight for a couple of minutes but luckily in this uh, level you can skip a lot of the fighting just by keeping to the outsides and just run past a lot of dudes we're just gonna keep on trucking through here I'm actually gonna head up top because I think there's a an easier way to to get around from up here Oh, running, 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 running. Bad news. Oh, God. And this a cool little section, but I don't I think I've ever stopped long enough to actually kill these guys. So we're going to do what the uh, little uh, title of the section said, and we're going to let sleeping dogs lie, and it is... Not good, because they are padding right along the path that I need to go. Alright, we got through out there without too much difficulty. Is he following me? No. So we're just going to keep going along. I don't know if I'm going to stop and help those Marines. I find it's just... uh. A waste of ammo for the most part. So we're gonna try to run by him. They don't have intel we need. Nope. 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 Don't want none. Leave me alone.
I can't remember exactly what those Marines tell you. Uh, if you do end up beat or er, helping them, right? But it's nothing that I don't already know from playing this game. So, if you haven't played this game yet, sorry, but like I said in the first episode, it's going to be like a mix of me actually watching cutscenes and, and trying to speed run this just a tiny bit. Huh. The last time I played this, that was a gold elite. Awesome. I was able to get through that without having to use any sniper ammo, so that's good news. Like I said earlier, this is the part that you used to be able to skip. I'm not sure. Okay, we're not going to let this uh, guy destroy this thing. And the checkpoint, not too shabby. I don't know if there's a specific point that you're supposed to line up. Open fire. Ugh. This thing is a pain in the ass. Yeah, I'm thinking they might have fixed this. Nope! Haha! <laughs> See, the nice part about that, too, is when you do it that way, they don't have a phantom that drops off dudes right there. <laughs> so glad I forced myself to do that several times. Okay, do they spawn anybody here if I do that? Doesn't look like. So it's just a casual stroll to uh, the end of this level. Yep, that was it. <laughs> that was fairly quick and painless, and about five guys that I actually had to shoot. Smother this thing, we need to go in hard and fast. Agreed. All recon teams disengage and fall back. Then we'll be up in a few hours, and it's going to be a very busy day. Alright, that's it for level four, guys. I'll catch you back on level five. <laughs>